Welcome back. Today we are starting with the main movement for lower body. It's going to be a block pull. I only have one stall mat, so it's only like 0.75, and then I just worked up to a heavy set of one. And then this week I'm going to show you some bonus exercises that I do after my accessories. So we're doing some glute ham raises and so I'm, I just kind of do usually about four because I'm very weak at these, as you can see by my style. And then I do a bunch of uh, calf races. These happen to be seated. And then after calf raises, I go ahead and do some hanging leg raises. These aren't called out for in the program. The program is incredibly short, so... This is just kind of like extra exercises that I'm doing. I'm not going super hard. I'm not kind of trying to destroy myself on these. I'm just doing these for some extra volume. Max upper thrower today is going to be a floor press. And once again, I'm using that cambered bar that from Elite FTS. And after this, I did my usual accessory movements. So I did my pull-ups and my dumbbell tricep extensions and then after that I do another little circuit for upper body so I am doing some rows on a landmine some cable press downs and I finish it off with some curls next workout day that's coming up is going to be the dynamic lower this week I tried using the transformer bar which I have not used yet for um, dynamic work and, or bands. So I actually have this set up for a low back squat and then I'm using the little band attachment that I have. And the combination of the two didn't quite work. And then as I come down, the band loosens and pops off. So that's why you have to have your band set up properly. I go ahead and knock out my other rep. That wasn't very smart. I should have just racked it. And then as you can see, I go ahead and finish the rest. I put the bands on. The bands are on there for a little while. As you can see, they lose the tension at the bottom, which isn't what they're supposed to be doing. There should still be a little bit of tension. So towards the end, you'll see me, I just go ahead and just take the bands off because I'm tired of um, watching them and I don't want them to pop off again and so I just you finish it off with straight weight After dynamic squat is dynamic deadlift or speed deadlifts. I went ahead and threw on some chains today.
Now I didn't show my accessories or that ending circuit that I showed you earlier in the videos. Those were the same as the previous week. So here we're moving on to our dynamic upper and I'll show you the three different hand placements and it's the same as the lower body. Accessories are the same and I do the same little closing workout. Next week I'll give you a little preview or show you what I do for warm-ups, at least for now. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon.